Hello viewers, I'm tuning in this master video. This is a review on the ATI Radeon X800 XT Platinum Edition video card. This is the card itself. The card itself has VGA, S-Video, and DVI outputs. It has a cool heatsink here, which is all copper. As you can see back there, it's all copper. And it ports the heat here out of the back through these copper fins. And of course, through the fan itself. This particular card was released by Sapphire. It does require a 4 pin Molex power connector. And here is a connector for audio out. And this card has an HEP 8X interface. And this is, as a length comparison, here is the X800 XT. This is a GeForce 7600 GS. And this is in GeForce FX 5200. As you can see, the X800 XT is longer than the 7600 and significantly longer than the FX. Just put them on top of each other and see the difference. As you can see here is where the PCB ends of the 5200, 7600GS, and all the way the X800 XT Platinum. There is quite a long card and it's quite heavy as well. If you can clearly see that, that is quite a thick PCB. I can't really compare that too much. At least the PCB is thicker than on both of these NVIDIA cards here. Right, next step is benchmarks to see how this card runs. I compared it to a GeForce GTS 250 FX 5200 7025 motherboard chipset and a HD5770. Yeah, I know these cards are a bit random, but that's the only thing I can compare it to because that's all I have around here. I didn't compare it to the 7600 GS because this card is dead mostly. Um, as soon as you install the drivers it won't uh, display an image anymore in Windows. If you don't install drivers it works fine. It's just kind of weird. But yeah, it just uh, won't accelerate anymore. This is fan noise on idle. And full blast.